Hey guys, Yuri of Essentials here. This is a requested video and I was asked to make an indoor swing chair. So this one caught my eye and it's a luxury Hamilton swing chair. I saw some other ones, but I prefer this one. Now I went online and then I looked into the price of swing chairs so that I know what my budget is gonna be like. And as you can see, it's quite pricey for a swing chair. So I kept scrolling down and this one got my eye. <laughs> it looks really pretty and so unique. It costs a lot, but I still prefer this one. To recreate this look, I decided to use PVC strips from Home Depot. I got three and then all I'm going to be doing now is making two large rings. I'm going to be using half that I cut from one on one full length PVC strip and then joining them together with mending plates. If you're new to my channel, it's so great to have you here. Now don't forget to click on the subscribe button and that notification bell so you don't miss out on any of my latest videos. The next thing I'm going to do is drill a hole in the middle for hanging using a wide drill bit. I'll be using this hardware set that I got from Home Depot and it can take up to 350 pounds. I mean I weigh 160 so this is going to be fine. Now I'm going to be attaching wood to the circles. And the first wood that I'll be attaching to it is the longest. And it's going to be 15 inches long. And I did take a measurement of a regular chair to make sure that it's wide enough. And that's how I came about with the 15 inches for the first piece of wood. Now every other wood that's going to go to the left and to the right is going to be reducing in length as it goes up. This is what it looks like when I was done. And then I also added wood across. I'll be adding pipes to make it stronger. Now I use the PVC strips at first just to give me a circular shape and then the pipes are going to make it much stronger for it to be suspended on a chain. As you can see the pipe bender is not going to give me a nice curve that's why I had to use the PVC strips for the curve first before attaching the pipes. I didn't want to make too many holes around the PVC strips, so because of that, I'll be using zip ties to hold the pipes and the PVC strips together. This is what it looks like, and the pipes are really important because at this point here, it reduces the tension that is on the PVC strip. So that way you can sit on it without having to worry about it coming off all going out of shape. I spray painted it silver and then added something that's hard and flexible at the bottom. I'm doing this because I'm using a one inch foam on the seating and I want it to be comfortable. I'll be attaching the foam with a staple gun. For 
follow this project, I'm going to be using this grey crushed fail face fabric. I didn't get enough when I went to the store, so I had some little bit of space. So I covered that up with another fabric that I had. I also covered the wood that's at the back with the same extra fabric. Now for the cushion at the back, I need something that's close to an egg shape to look like the one that's on the picture. So when I got the shape that I wanted, I glued a board at the back, made points on the foam for tufting, and then I made holes on those points using a pair of scissors. And then now I'm gonna be tufting the fabric. And because it was short, I had to add another fabric to it. This was already measured before I started the project. And I got just one yard of fabric, so that's why I was short on fabric. Now all I'm doing is just locating where the holes are and stapling it down. When I was done, I stapled the extra fabric at the back and covered it up. I glued crystal buttons on the tufts. When I was done, I attached the cushion to the wood from the sides and the tufts that actually meet with the wood that's at the back. When I was done, I kept it aside and then started working on where I'll be mounting the chair. I'm going to be using wood from Home Depot and this is what I got. I got four pieces of prime wood. Now the first thing that I'll do is drill a hole in the middle. This hole is going to be for the hanging hardware. I used wood glue and heavy duty corner braces to attach the wood pieces together. Now when I was done, this is what it looked like and then I painted it white. I got this chain from the hardware section and it can take over a thousand pounds. And then I also got this to hook it before mounting what I just made. Now this is what it looks like but there's a problem with the method. It wasn't stable because I did not use wood to support both sides of the structure. So if you're gonna use this method, I would recommend to support the sides with extra wood. At the end of the day, I went ahead to just use pipes. I used galvanized pipes and then I attached fittings to it and it was so easy to actually get a stand for my swing chair. The galvanized pipes and fittings were kind of expensive compared to the wood because with the pipes I spent about $110. Meanwhile, using just the wood, I spent about $50. But I will use the wood for something else for a different project and this one can hold the swing chair. But then with the pipes, it was really easy to assemble and it's really, really sturdy. When I was done, all I did was mount the hanging hardware to it. And my swing chair is complete. With all that I did, I didn't get a perfect circle. Not that got me upset, but I'm just gonna keep this the way it is.
I have another amazing chair DIY that I made some months ago and the link for this is going to be down in the description box below. I hope you all enjoyed this video. Now don't forget to like it and share with your friends and families as well. Thank you guys so much for watching. I have other home decor DIY videos that are linked in the description box below to check them out and don't forget to click on the subscribe button.